not attack the thief. Do not attack the thief. Poison lance. Damn it. Hate poison weapons. Or she misses. You are going to help out with those guys over there. Archers can live for the time being. Not the predicament I was I was I was thinking myself to be in. But as it may I'm gonna hit oh, okay good. Oh bad. See, that's good because it blocks the thief's way from the stairs. Realistically, I think. Alright, that's a better level up. worrying about math you can you can two shot them all right yeah it's those units that I'm the moment it comes out of my mouth for first of all I had I forgot that I had the manicotti equipped all right so not in range to get to Lego and now what's his sleep status three more turns all right Should be fine. Right, this this guy this guy needs to go. Give me that gunning ring. Keep on. Do any of them have ranged weapons? Iron Lance, Steel Lance, Armor Sire. Nope. Alright. Um. 
what I want you to do. What's your move? Damage, speed is five, and double with the, the. Right, the javelin doesn't wear it down, right? The javelin weighs her down a lot. That's why she can't double. Constitution's too low. Right? That's how it works. Give it a shot. You know what? What I should have had Irk done. Uh, never mind. Let's try this. Um, yeah. That way he's kind of out of everybody's hair. Alright, so he's still going to be able to attack. Oh no, he doesn't. He still can't attack. That's good. You guys... Realistically... Matthew can take him out by himself, but... Just as a precaution... Oswald's gonna step in there! Rebecca, however, is going to go back to taking care of these archers. Making sure they're not going to be pains in the ass later. Nice dodge. Alright, let's try this. Miss. Good. Just can double, right? Yeah. Yep, going for Matthew, which is fine. Can, <laughs> he can two shot them with a overkill. All right, love it. Okay, this is going well. So you're asleep for four turns. And what's your move? Sleep for one more turn? Two turns. Alright, um... move six, wow. Wait, what's your constitution? Nine, eight. So nobody can aid him. Save Priscilla.
Can I get a critical with the killer lance? No. If I keep Priscilla there, she's out of danger for this turn. Can I talk to... I cannot talk to him when he's sleeping. So, so that's it for the reinforcements. Good. So I'm just going to use these guys to bar his path to kind of route him to where we want to go in case things don't turn out well. He's already asleep. Or can I reinforce it? Not taking the chance. I am gonna take the chance. The critical hit. Critical. Crit Damn it. Dodge. Good. Matthew's gonna go up and grab those chests. Alright. That goes awake. I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Beck is like, fuck off. Aw. Oh, so close to a level up. We're gonna heal. Alright. Take. Pulmonary. win I'm definitely gonna have to reinforce All right. can guide him there all right let's do that that way if it doesn't work out Lucius can get hit That Tributor doing? <laughs> what exactly are you doing, Mr. Tributor? Right, what's in his chest? Luna! Yes! Luna is a tome pretty broken it negates enemy resistance so it'll do it'll do whatever damage whatever ma ma magic damage that a druid has Let's put a 
see the seat there. There are two dialogues, technically three, um, that you can get with Legola. One with your main lord, so that could be either Eliwood or Hector. I have Hector's on the other file, I'll, I'll put that in. Um, and then one from Lynn. So we're going to see all three, figuring as I brought Lynn all the way up here. So let's start out with uh, with Eliwood's dialogue with him. Well now, a welcome visitor indeed. I must thank you for coming so far. What? You're a mm, to be more accurate, I would say a former Black Fang member. Black Fang. <laughs> no, former back Black Fang. And now I'm simply a thief. Huh? So you're not my foe, is what you're saying? Correct, so let's pretend we never saw each other. Hold on. Hmm? If you're not my enemy, may I ask for your aid? Me, help you. I want to know about the Black Fang. Please. This is a surprise. Are you really going to battle the Black Fang? Yes. Your enemy is not Brendan Reed. But a horrible man named Nurgle. Yes, I know this already. You're quite plucky, I like you. However, I know almost nothing of the current Black Fang. You still want my aid? I do. Thank you. My name's Elliewood. I'm Lego. I'll help you as long as I feel safe. And now, Lynn's dialogue. Well, now, a welcome visitor indeed. I must thank you for coming so far. What? You're Black Fang, aren't you? Mmm. To be accurate, I would say a former Black Fang member. Former? Yes, now I'm simply a thief. Huh? So you're not my enemy, is that it? Correct, so let's pretend we never saw each other. Hold on! Hmm? If you're not my enemy, please help me. Me, help you. Not everyone in the Black Fang is evil. I'll not grant mercy in battle, but any information you can provide may help us avoid unneeded fighting. You surprised me. I really am not looking to hurt people. The first person we fought on this island was Yuhai. I don't believe he was a bad man. There must be some way we can get by without fighting. Hmm. I know a few like that. Did you know that your enemy isn't Brenton Reed? It's a creepy fellow by the name of Nurgle. I was aware of that. That's the man we've, been, we've come to defeat. Plucky, aren't you? I like that. I like you. However, I know almost nothing about the current Black Fang. But that's okay. Thank you. My name's Lin. I'm Lego. I'll help you as long as I feel safe. Well, now. A welcome visitor, indeed. I must thank you for coming so far. You're Black Fang, aren't you? Hmm. To be accurate, I'm Black Fang no more. I thought as much, take this! Whoa, a touchy hasty, aren't you? Hear me out, will you? Black Fang, no more, no more! I've only recently severed ties with them. I'm a merely thief, satisfied? Hmm. So you're just looking for an easy way out? Nothing is better than being carefree, is there? I'll admit that everyone has his own set of values, though. Well then, I'll take my leave of you. Hold it! Hmm? If you're not one of, if you're not one of them, why don't you help me out? Me help you. You're not with the Black Fang anymore, right? Are you seriously going to fight them? Uh huh. Let me tell you a little something, okay? You're an, you're an enemy here, and it isn't Brandon Reed. This creepy fellow named Nurgle. I don't care. They're always responsible for attacking my homeland and my friends. <coughs> I'm gonna rip them apart with my bare hands. You sound tough. Are you... But are you anything more than a little lord then? What did you say? I've always been fond of simple, honest children. They're so sincere. Things are never born when they're around. You know, I think I will help you out. However, I know almost nothing about the current Black Fang. If that's okay. No problem. Any little thing you can tell me will help. On the go. I'll help you as long as I feel safe. All right, so it's 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 along the similar dialogue, but it's still the same. Now we need Lego to book it. 
because we need that member card that he has. This is the only member card that you get in the game. So it's pretty important. <laughs> right, so guy and Lucius. Uh oh. Uh I better stop fucking around and get to what I need to get to. The thief's awake. Yes, he'll. That was what I was worried about. Now reinforcements are going to start to come, and I'm not ready for them yet. Got a blue gem. Put Luna back because we don't have Cadence with us. Um, no, 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 no. That's not. That's not going to work. Um, shit. Everybody, get to that side now! Alright, Ellwood, you've done your job. Lynn, you've done yours. Florina and Priscilla, you just need to stay here a little bit longer. I really like to take this archer down, this is actually kind of really bothering me now. Please get a critical on him. Thank you. Rebecca, what do you got? Uh, you're disappointing me. That thief doesn't move. Good. Give me that that member card already. Florina, Fl Florina, please take him out. Thank you. Happy level up. Bring it bluntly. Bait them. Can we bait them a little bit more? We can, at a risk. Alright. Hey, Matthew, you need to get out of there ASAP. Careful of Darren. Spear is a, is a two range weapon. I guess you two are staying down here. We wouldn't have been able to harm Darren anyway. Lucis, damn it! Matthew, you are in the running for that one fallen uh, or fell contract, which is the the uh, promotion unit for thieves to be promoted into assassins. There's only one in the game, and there's another way to promote, but like, I don't need two assassins. I just need one, so. 
right, speaking of thieves, I believe it's time for us to visit the secret shop number one. This serves uh, st uh, stuff such as uh, swords and, and lances and stuff like that, but not ordinary swords and lances. Yeah! Yeah! Shh! <laughs> it's a secret shop. Thanks! Thanks to the silver card. First of all, sell that blue gem. Thanks to that silver card, everything is half off. Six hundred dollars. Well, well, they would usually be uh, seventeen hundred. Yeah, I'm buying shit. Four killing edges, and that's why I was clearing out my inventory too. Four, four, four. Get some elixirs. Three elixirs should do. And another lockpick. And let's check the uh let's have to check oh shit. Um, it's a horrible use of it. Just kidding, you'll be fine. <laughs> you dare challenge me, I who will rule the world. Take that. Ow. I mean, take that. Ow. Okay. Okay. Um. Next up, we got Hector. Oh, you're Marcus Ostia's younger brother. I couldn't care less if you were a grudge against Ostia. I'll put up with your treachery no longer. <laughs> Ostia is no longer my main concern, nor is the whole of Lycia. My only goal worthy of my attention is the entire world. You're mad. Speedy Hector. Next up, we got Ellie Wood. Please don't crit. For the love of God, please don't crit. Darren, your treachery ends here. <laughs> I will never fall to the likes of you. Let's end this. Are you Darren? My grandfather. You tried to... What? Who are you? I'm Marcus K. Lin's granddaughter, Lindis. Ah, uh, that senile old fool. That doddering rat dared to consider with me. I was so happy to be rid of him. You're a dead man! Yes! I was hoping she would regret. Blood! Is this my blood? Avidel, come to me! Your master calls you... I am the ruler of the world. You ain't ruling shit. A good level up at that. All right. So I'll actually we can no we can't do that yet because I don't believe. Nah, we don't have enough room yet. So let's take one of our new killer bows. And I will be right back when, uh... 
when we uh, when I've cleared up the inventory space in Merlinus's tent. Okay, I'm not completely done yet, but I've cleared up enough space where I can actually buy some stuff. I'm actually going to go back to the other store and buy some more killing edges because they are useful as hell. Um, Alright, so let's see what's in this other store. This is the other secret shop. So it's this tile right here and the tree tile down there. In case you wanted to know. Shh. <laughs> this is secret shop. First of all, physics staff. Yes. I'm buying like three of these things. So three, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four. All right. So now you now you know what's in each of these shops. I'll be back when I have what I need. And also before we finish this chapter off. I, you know, I can just picture Nurgle and Ephidel and uh, Lord Elbert just sitting there at the Dragon's Gate waiting for them to come, and they're kind of just like twiddling their finger fingers. Obviously, Lord Elbert because he wants, his son, he wants to see his son. Nurgle and Ephidel because they probably want to show off their lovely presentation of opening up the dragon's gate but they're just they're sitting sitting there twiddling their thumbs kind of just like looking each other at looking at each other awkwardly like um hey what's up uh, i don't know and I'm, I'm, I've, I've been stabbed for like you know lord albert's like yeah, well i've been stabbed like three times uh, just, yeah well uh, that's kind of painful well oh you're a jackass well that's kind of what my character arc is supposed to be and then Ephidel's kind of just sitting there like, I have no emotions. <laughs> Either way, we have support uh, B between uh, Lucius and... Um, what's your name? Priscilla. So put up those stats. Lucius. Oh, Priscilla. But what I asked you earlier, you said your, my brother spoke to you about me. Yes. What exactly did he say? Ah, yes. That you were his young sister, Priscilla, who left Cornwall when still young. And what else did he say? What else? That you were as close as children, that you were often in ill health, and that you were very shy. Was there nothing else? For example, that I was cute when I was small. Or that he had made a secret promise. Um. Or that he often thought about me after I left? Lucilla, are you right? Yes, it's nothing. Please forget about it. But Lucius. Yes? You are. How can I say this? Beautiful. Your face is like a woman's. No. Your face is more beautiful than that of a woman. I'm sure even a few lords must have fallen for you. You misunderstand. I am a man. As a child, I was often teased for my appearance. I have never once prof profited from it. Perhaps you meant to imply otherwise? I meant nothing. Uh, you must excuse me. Priscilla. <laughs> they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing when they were making these support conversations and the, just game, this game in general. They knew what they were doing. Also, Priscilla has a bit of a brother. Yeah, I think you know where I'm going with that. Um, I mean, it could be taken in another way, but that's the first thing that came to mind for me, which kind of... Tell, tells you something about me, doesn't it? Um. All right. We had enough. 
I ho hopefully Lord Elbert hasn't bled out yet. Let us end the chapter. He was mad. Consumed by his own lust. Pitiful fool. Lord Darren. Come on, Elliewood. There's no time for sentiment. Your father needs you. Let's go. Father! Father? It's me, Elliewood. I've come to save you. Father? It's dark in here. Can't see a thing. Uh, Elliewood. Ah! Father, where are you? Back there, Elliewood. His voice is coming from back there. Ah, uh, Father! You, you're alright. Elliewood. Wait! Forget me! Let's take the girl and flee. Look at her eyes. Ninian? Let go. She's a dream key to the Dragon's Gate. Hurry, go before Nurgle notices you. Ninian, this way, we must flee. Something's wrong with her. Yet yeah, we've no time to hesitate. Elliewood, I've got your father. You take Ninian. I understand. Lord Abbott, I'm going to move you a little. Be strong. Hector, you came too. Thank you. Do not worry about me. Come, let's leave this place. Elliewood, Hector! Hurry this way! Ah! You will not pass here. When did you? You must not fight that man. What? That man is dangerous. You cannot defeat him on your own. Father, there's no time. This danger must be faced. Be a good boy and listen to your father, young Master Hollywood. Ephidel. You get among the Black's fang. This man is feared for his skill. You're no match for him. Not even as a group. You've done well, Jafar. That is all. Return to Burn and begin your next assignment. Hear my word. I have an invitation from my master. In honor of your hard-fought arrival, he's prepared a special show for you. Stop it! You cannot release the dragons! Father, what's all this about? You will know surely. At the expense of your father's life! Ugh! Ugh! Father! What's wrong? Father! Lord Albert, hold on! Indian. Power. Pa power. Pa power. Ugh! Father. Now, Indian, at last, open the dragon's gate. Keys. Open gate. That's it. This way, dragon. What? What's? What's this rumbling? I can only keep on my feet. Nurgle. What? What's happening? Here, come, children of the flame. Come to me. It can't be. No, it isn't. Is that truly a dragon? <laughs> yes, use all of your strength. Squeeze every drop from your body. You will call dragons. Who's there? 
You! Nils! Ninian, come to your senses! You must not do what they want! Nils? Nils. Not now! Ugh, F just stop him! He sees Nils! The power runs wild! Ninian! Nils? Here, hurry! Notice how her eyes change back? The dragon is crumbling! Everyone flee! Yeah! Stop! You, you mustn't come here! Lord Nurgle! Please! Please! Something happened. Is it gone? No, I failed. Nils, you whelp. If not for your interference. Come, both of you. What? No. Never, we will not follow you. Ninian, Nils. Uh? Not what? Impossible. Not by your hand. I told you. I will oppose you always. Why? Why won't you die? Ugh! Father. Anyone, be prepared. He will return. All right, but for now, let's leave the island. Let's go home. No, my son, I'm done here. You, Ellywood, you must finish this. Don't say that. Mother's waiting for Ray. She's waiting for you, father. <sighs> Eleonora, she will be cross with me. Ellywood, your mother. I'm sorry. Tell her I'm sorry. Uh, father? No. Please, not now. Not after we all we've done is find you again. Father. Please. Open your eyes. I think I'm going to speak my mind on this next episode. So until then, in the next episode of Fire Emblem, we're going to be moving on to Chapter 21 Hector Mode, Chapter 20 Ellywood Mode, New Resolve. I will see you guys later.